You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Q Girls Hairstyles. Now before we go into the hairstyle today, I thought I would mention that we're gonna put up a bonus video this week. So it's gonna go live on Tuesday. Make sure you watch for it and check it out. Now today's hairstyle tutorial is going to be the diagonal bow braid. Now you'll remember that we taught you guys the technique of the bow braid a long time ago, but we didn't show you how to do this particular style. We put up a picture of it in that video, and since then we've literally had thousands of you emailing us, asking us to show you how to do this. So today we're going to do just that. Now I'm gonna begin by showing you how to section the hair. I think this was the part that threw most people off, and it's probably the trickiest part of the entire style. Now, if you will tip your head back, please, right there. I have begun by parting, and I started right about the end of her eyebrow, went up, went on a diagonal, tip back as far as you can, thanks. A diagonal, a diagonal, until I was about an inch over her opposite ear, and then I just straight, like went straight across to about the end of her other eyebrow. I didn't wanna bring it down clear to her ear, and I'll show you why later when we're braiding, but it just looks better. So that's the part. And then I just pulled it out, out of the way and secured it with a rubber band. So it's not in our way for right now. Now I'm just gonna begin by doing a regular French braid. I'm gonna begin over her right ear and I'm gonna continue to just below her left ear. You are the way you smile, the way you laugh, the way I can't help but catch you. Okay, so once you have your French braid completed, and it's a diagonal again, so we kind of went from one ear down to the other. It's the French braid version of like a Katniss braid. Katniss's is Dutch, but this is French. So we're gonna let this hair out, and we're gonna begin to use this hair on the top. Okay, now you can use water if you like, I like to wet mine down a little. It just makes the bows a little more perfect. You can also use um, pomade or hair wax. Any of the above, whatever you prefer, will work just fine. I just smooth this out. Get this ready. Okay, now I'm gonna take a hairpin and I'm gonna go right up here to my first little bump. Right there, you can see my first stitch. And I'm gonna be utilizing all of those top stitches. I'm gonna slide my hairpin underneath that top stitch and just leave it there. I'm gonna go up here and grab just a little piece of hair. Oop, there we go. I'm gonna wet it down just a little more. Again, pomade or hair wax will do the same thing. Make a loop with my fingers. Slide that through the top of the hairpin. Reach through and grab that loop. And then just gently pull the hairpin through until you create a bow. And then I'm gonna leave that sitting there. Now with the ends, I'm gonna let them kind of fall down like this because they'll get hidden as we continue the braid. Now I'm gonna move back to the next stitch. Again, put the hairpin, make sure that back, those tails are going behind the hairpin. I'm gonna go up to the top, pick up my next little section of hair. And just kind of, you can kind of tell how much hair you're gonna need to take, you know, so you don't run out of hair or have too much at the end or anything like that. You don't want your bows huge. Again, slip it through the hairpin, create the bow. And you can see right there that I just kind of pulled those tails from the last bow into my next set. So you can't even see them. There's our next bow. And we're gonna continue again. Hairpin under the next stitch up our next little piece of hair, spritz it down, make sure it's smooth because we don't want any funny like fuzzy ends in the bows. Create a bow, slide it through, I like to just give mine a little twist, I think they sit a little prettier, optional, doesn't matter. Go to the next stitch, and we're going and doing every stitch of this braid. And we're finished. Now you can see this side of her head. 
because we did not go all the way down to her ear. I just think it flows into the braid a little more naturally. That's why I like to leave that one. If you want, you can just take the very soft edges of a comb, kind of go like this, and it just blends all that hair. So it has the deceiving look of having been in the original braid when it actually was not. Okay, now just to help hold those bows in place so they don't fall out during recess or running around playing sports, we're gonna add just a, some hairspray and we are going to give you the final spin. Here we go. Ta-da! I think it looks so cute. Every time we wear this hair, people ask us constantly how we did it. Like everywhere we go. It's crazy. But I love this one and I know you guys are going to as well. So don't forget, the bonus video goes live on Tuesday. I know you guys are gonna love it. We threw all six of the kids into it. We haven't done that for a long time and it's really, really sweet. Now you're gonna love me twice as much tonight because you get two hair tutorials. We have uploaded a new Disney style hairstyle. Up here, you can find it. It's Elsa from Disney's new movie, Frozen. And we, of course, had to find the perfect model and she's this blonde, beautiful, Princess, and so we brought in our good friend Charity Vance all the way from Nashville to use her as a model. Now you'll remember Charity sings a lot of our music. You can find her info here, and we'll put all of that information in the description box below. Enjoy, you guys, and we will see you on Tuesday and then next Sunday. Bye. Bye. Then I'm gonna go to like the next little piece next to it do the same thing just add a little twist and kind of hold it in the same hand <laughs> charity mindy <laughs> it's not a fair contest with you in the room yes it is yes you can sing don't deny it. it's in your heart and soul you'll find that's the end